may peace and blessings be with you. Assalamu alaikum, my dear sisters. I am so grateful that you're here with me today. If you're looking at this video and you're saying, oh my gosh, that's a lot of yellow, you are correct. It is a lot of yellow, <laughs> but that's okay because uh, I'm a very colorful person and the uh, yellow happens to be one of one of my favorite colors. Okay, so you know how technology is our friend most of the time, but it also embarrasses us sometimes. And uh, sometimes we feel it's not cool, but I want you to think of it as a learning opportunity. Every time you feel embarrassed by technology, just say that was a learning opportunity. So a few days ago, I was trying to copy a person's phone number from my phone. And I thought I was holding my phone, my iPhone, and I thought I was in edit mode and copying the phone number. But turns out I wasn't. And when I pressed on the number, it actually called them and it didn't just do a regular call. It did a <laughs> FaceTime video call. <laughs> I was so embarrassed, but I was like, okay, you know, and I'm um, frantically looking for my call end button. Um, luckily, I saw that I tapped on the screen. I found it and I hung up the call. Um, I did not even apologize to the person. I was like, they were probably busy. They probably didn't even see it. No worries. Water under the bridge. So, you know, I don't want you to feel that, you know, whenever someone is talking about technology or teaching about technology, she has it all together. She doesn't. She um, embarrasses herself just as much with every opportunity we get. So for today, we are going to cover organizing your Gmail inbox. And I looked at our last live and I thought I'm going to change the format a little bit. I'm going to tell you about what I'm going to share that I'm going to share and then I'm going to share one more time so that you know, you're able to grasp it. And then you're also able to use it and apply it for your use case after that. So very simply, I'm going to share a messy looking inbox with you, my Gmail inbox with you. I had to look for one and I found one that I haven't maintained for a while. Um, so that would be a perfect one that we can take a look at and organize together. In the inbox, I'm going to show you how to create filters, then how to create labels for those filters. And then we're going to move emails to a folder using those labels. It's going to create folders. And then I will also show you how to create a rule so you're automatically able to do that going forward. So that is our plan for today. I'm going to quickly share my screen. And if you're here with me live, and if you have any questions, please uh, use the comments feature. The comment will show up. There is just a slight delay um, by the time you enter it and I receive it because I'm using Melon app for going live. And let's see. I think there is a link in the description. If you click on that, that will also give Melon access to your name so that when your comment comes in, I can see who's sending me the comment. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to share my screen. Okay, so you are looking at this beautiful, messy looking inbox. Nothing is organized, nothing is labeled. Uh, it's a hodgepodge. When you first come into your inbox, you will notice in Gmail, it automatically creates a few categories. There are primary emails, there are promotions, and there's social. So Gmail tries to do a good job of organizing your messages for you automatically, just out of the box. But if you want to take it a step further and keep it even more organized, what I like doing is creating labels and uh, folders with those and also creating some automatic rules for moving those uh, messages automatically, new messages that come in automatically. Okay, so just to give you an idea, if you want to take um, emails like YouTube ones, these are you know auto messages I get all the time from YouTube in this inbox. So if you want to just take that simply and create a simple rule from it, you can just click on this checkbox next to the YouTube to the left of that. As soon as you do that, you'll see this little menu bar pops up. So if I don't have it checked, nothing is there. There's just this uh, little bit of a few options here. But as soon as I click on it, you're going to see a lot more options. From here, you want to, you can create a label from here. All that's going to do is it's just going to create a label for you. But what I like doing is clicking on more and then going down to filter messages like these. So I clicked on these three dots, the ellipsis. It opened up this menu. Then I am going to click on filter messages like these. 
So if I do that, it's going to automatically put the from email address in the from section here. So basically it's trying to create a filter like that and it's confirming with you, is this what you mean? So filter out anything that came from no reply YouTube or you wanna apply any other filter down further as well, right? So a lot of times if it's, I don't, if I don't want all the emails from YouTube going here, I can also say, you know, the subject says starts with this or has few keywords or whatever, right? So you can further tell it what you wanted to apply the filter based on, and then you're going to create uh, hit the create filter button. Okay, there it goes. So once we create the filter or try to create the filter, it's giving us all these options. It's, it's saying, after you create the filter, what do you want to do with it? Do you want to skip this email from coming to your inbox and put it in an archive folder? Do you want to mark it as read? Do you want to star these emails? Do you want to apply a certain label? Do you want to forward it? Do you want to delete it? Do you want to never send it to spam? Always mark it as important, never mark it as important. Uh, categorize it as certain categories that already um, exist or basically what do you want it to do? And th this is all and. So, so far it's also recognizing that emails like this, there are 16 of them in my inbox at this time, right? So it's also uh, kind of giving you some additional information. So this is what I like doing. You can create whatever rules you want, but this is what I like doing. I wanted to, this email not to come to my inbox and clutter my inbox. So I'm gonna say, say skip my inbox, but I'm going to also create a new label for it. I'm going to check this box, apply the label, choose label, I'm going to create a new label. I'm going to say YouTube, I'll just call it promos, something like that, right? YouTube promos or something like that. Um, this is how, th this is a folder where I want the emails to go. It'll apply that label to it. I'll be able to find these emails in that folder and no more emails from YouTube with that email address will be coming to my inbox. So that is what this will do. I hope I'm clear so far. If it's a, if you want it to be a subfolder within another folder, you can also say nest label under this, and then you could create another one or pick another one from the list. So don't worry about that for now. So what we're doing is we are creating a new folder called YouTube promos and a label for it. New emails that will come to my inbox, they will get skipped. They will go straight to this folder and I'm gonna hit create on here. So, so far it has created this rule, but it still has not really applied it yet. I'm going to tell it also apply this filter to the 16 matching conversations. So it's recognizing that 16 messing, mess, uh, matching conversations with that same rule where this is true. Do you want to apply this? So I'm going to say yes, apply it. And it is going to, as soon as I create filter, it is going to do that for us. So here it goes. So from my inbox it took all of the youtube emails and it moved them to this youtube promos folder that we just created and it has put all 16 emails in here so the emails did not get deleted so no need to panic or anything like that emails did not get deleted they just got moved to a folder and as i did that it's going to do it automatically it's going to create that filter that uh, the folder is already there it's going to apply that filter every single time a new email from youtube comes in it's going to automatically put it in here. Okay, so those were the the steps to making this happen. We can try one more time. And I also want you to um, go to, if you want to basically look at all your emails in one go and not be bothered by these categories, you can click on more over here and you can click on all mail from the left and it'll basically give you all your emails um, in one inbox. Okay, so let's try this one more time. So this time, let's do this with the Instagram emails that we have received. So I'm getting a lot of um, Instagram emails in this inbox as well. So I am going to click on the little checkbox to the left of Instagram. Then I'm going to go up to the top, this new menu bar that has opened up. I'm going to click on the three dots, the ellipsis. Click on that. It's going to open up this new menu, I'm gonna select filter messages like the, and it's asking me, do you want all emails from Instagram to go here or with certain subject lines? So I wanna say anything that says ABC of marriage in the subject line. 
So don't do all of the Instagram emails, anything that says ABC of marriage. Only put these, only create this filter for, for those. So I'm basically further filtering it down. Emails from Insta where the subject line is this or has this in it, create this filter, click on that, skip it from my inbox, apply this label. I'm gonna create a new label. I'm gonna say IG to ABC. Okay, so I'm gonna just say that. It's gonna create this new folder for me. Hit create. And it didn't tell me how many does this apply to. All right, I'm gonna just hit this. Let's see what happens, okay? I'm going to click on create filter. Okay, so just like that, it has created this filter and all emails with ABC of marriage have been moved to this. I think it was still thinking because there were a lot, there were 95 emails in here. That's why it maybe didn't give a stop. Okay, so I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you're able to now create different different rules for your inbox. You can also, you know, mark certain things as spam or you can say if something is going to spam that shouldn't be going to spam, you can also, you know, uh, update those rules and change those settings. As you can see now, when I look at all mail, it's showing me mail from all folders from everywhere. And it's also showing me the different labels. So this email is categorized as IG to ABC of marriage. This one is categorized as YouTube promo. So I can always search for these as well. Another way of getting to the uh, filters option is I can just say, if I just search for YouTube up here in the search bar, it is going to uh, search for all of that highlighted in yellow. You can also click on this little options button, which is show search options in the uh, very at the very top. If you click on that, this also gives you a very similar menu. This time it did a search on has the words YouTube in it. So it's all emails, not just emails coming from YouTube. Any email that has the word YouTube in it, in the subject, in the body. Um, so this is another way of getting to the filters. And if you have created filters and now you wanna edit those filters, things have started to go into those folders, but you wanna make a tweak or something like that, you can always go to settings, go to, so I'm clicking on this gear icon in the top right corner. For settings, from here, I am gonna select see all settings and we are going to go to, let's see, labels. So here they are. These are the new labels that we created and you're able to edit them. So if you want to go here, you can edit the name of the label. And there is a way to also update the rule. There we go filter, you can go here and change the filters that you applied. So you can edit that and you can say, I don't want all YouTube emails going to that folder. I want to also filter it by something else. You know, the subject line has certain characters or something like that. So you can update it here and it'll apply that going forward for you. Okay. So if this was helpful, please try it with your inbox, organize your inbox. Let me know how you did it. If you want to send me before and after screenshots, do that, put it in the, in the group or share it with me and also be here next Tuesday at 11 o'clock Eastern time. Again, we are going to be covering how to create a very simple task tracker for yourself using Google sheets. So we're moving on to Google sheets next week and I'm super excited about sharing with you how all of that will work. I will see you next time. I will just quickly check to make sure we didn't have any questions come in. Oh, a sister is saying something and I'm sending you love as well. Another sister asks, what do you call the three dots again? They're called ellipses, ellipses. Okay, inshallah, I'll see you next time. I hope this was helpful. <laughs>